Hi, everyone. If you love romantic women's fiction, a good love story with meaning, I think you'll like Dragonflies at Night more than a love story. I'm going to read today just a little bit from chapter four, where Ben and Savannah have met and are beginning to fall in love. They've taken a walk at a retreat center, and they're sitting uh, near a lake. They sat in silence then, holding hands, until the softening sunset faded and a myriad of stars started making themselves known in the darkness. Ben took off his baseball cap and lay back on the sand. He tugged on her hand to join him and enjoyed the feel of her beside him, shoulder to shoulder, the sand warm beneath them, the night air skimming their bodies with a slight breeze. He wanted to touch her in the worst way, but kept his hands to himself. There was something so familiar about this woman. Darned if he knew what it was. Obviously, they had never met before, but in some ways he felt as if he'd known her forever. He wondered if she felt this too. Well, he sure as hell hoped so. What he really wanted to do was lean over and kiss her right on the full gorgeous lips, run his fingers through her curly hair, kiss the hollow of her throat where the silver dragonfly rested. But not yet, too soon, unfortunately. Say something, he thought, ask her a question. That's good, ask a question. So what's up with all the dragonflies? He touched one finger to the silver charm at her throat and was pleased when he saw her eyes darken with pleasure. At his touch, at his question, he wasn't sure, but he didn't care. You're very observant, she replied. He shrugged, bumping her shoulder lightly with his, I'm a writer, not just a singer. We writers are very observant. Yes, you are. Savannah fingered the dragonfly at her throat for a moment. Okay, here's the story. My mom died when I was 15. After the funeral, when I was crying by myself out in our backyard, a dragonfly came out of nowhere and landed on my arm. It stayed there for a long time, and it was nighttime, which is really very strange because dragonflies don't usually show themselves at night. It's hard to explain, but it felt like my mom was right there with me, and I've just always loved dragonflies since then. I see them around a lot. The funny thing is my mother studied entomology in college before she became a theater costume designer, and dragonflies were always her favorite insect. Ben's heart caught in his throat. He hadn't known what that expression meant until right this very minute. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the story, Dragonflies at Night, More Than a Love Story, available on Amazon, Apple iBooks, Kobo, and other online retailers. Enjoy.